Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Min and Neil Chero. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It's very much appreciated. Just going to be doing a reading for Leo because we're going into Leo's birthday season. So happy birthday, Leo. Okay, please only take what resonates and leave the rest and make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she, sometimes the story might be vice versa. Okay. Okay, we have the Two of Cups, Leo, we also have the Devil, and we also have somebody walking away, Leo. Okay, Leo, I, I do feel that there's people from the past that are thinking about you. Um, so, I feel like I need to pull my camera back a little bit. Alright, I feel like there's people from the past that are thinking about you and want to get in contact with you. And it doesn't mean, Leo, that you have to continue cycles with these people. It just means that they want to talk to you. They want to say, hey, Leo, how are you going? What are you doing? You know, but with a lot of these people, you have ended a cycle with, okay? I do feel here that you have a wish fulfillment with somebody from your past, somebody that um, you feel that you may have a strong commitment to and that you have a lot of love for. And you're feeling stuck about speaking up to this person. You're feeling stuck about choosing a direction because you're not sure whether you're heading in the right direction or not, Leo. I do feel, Leo, that you are going through a time of stagnation. And the reason why you're going through this time of stagnation is because you have some things you need to talk about. You have some things that you need to speak up about, okay? You want to end the cycle, but you want to start a new one. You're going through debt and transformation. You might be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, you know, or you might be going through some sort of um, ending with with a commitment here and, and starting a new love, but you're feeling stuck, okay? Now, if I wanted to look this to, into this in a different way, Leo, that... The stagnation is here for a reason, and it is here because you need to make decisions regarding your life and which direction you want to go. And I feel that with you, Leo, is that um, you want things to move forward and you want things to, to, to happen, okay? But they can't happen until you, you deal with some issues here, okay? And I feel like that you're being kept you know in this position of being stuck for a reason and it's because you do need to choose a direction and maybe need to maybe you know learn a new skill or add more to what you're doing you know um but i i also feel leo that um you know speaking up with somebody that you you trust or or care for or you have a lot of love for will be able to bring some forward movement in for you okay now yeah i do feel you're taking your time this is the slowest night of the deck and you want to go towards some person that you feel is an empress okay um you want to make an offer to this person there's a lot of mental conflict going on because you feel that you know you've you may have, have have boundaries with this person, like, you know, you can only go to a certain level with this person, but that's your mindset, Leo. But on the other hand, Leo, is that people that you have set boundaries with in the past, people that you may have blocked because you weren't on the same page, now want to come in and explain things to you, Leo, okay? Now, it doesn't mean that you've got forward movement with these people, but it, also, it just means that um people are missing you and people want to know hey leo what are you up to you know and you you feel like you shouldn't have to tell these people anything but you know you will you will speak to these people because you know you want somebody that um you know wants to know what you're what you're up to and 
one of these people in particular is somebody that you blocked okay somebody that um was going through a difficult time in their life and they may have just shut you out leo and now they want to come back and explain themselves but i feel like you've definitely moved on from this situation leo i feel like you know you you may have um you know just moved on from it you don't want to repeat it again you don't you're not on the same page with these people anymore and i feel like you know you just want to be you you just want to do you and you know i need to think about me i need to focus more about me about what i want in my life i feel like there's a sense of confusion leo but it really is just a time for reflection on the direction that you want to go the people that you want in your life where you want to be in the future you know do you do you want to feel you want to be where you are right now okay and once you start making these decisions uh leo and start moving forward um the doors are going to open up for you i would be careful about a contract leo if there's a contract that you need to sign especially if it's a long-term one um i feel like there's a lot of confusion regarding this contract but at the same time it's you know putting a lot of focus into doing things right, okay? So don't sign anything long-term at this stage, okay? Um, I do feel for a lot of you, there's also a focus on the home, that some of you are moving house, some of you are relocating. Um, I feel like the view is going to change, definitely. Your, your view of what the window you're looking out now to the window you'll be looking out in the future is a, is to, is a totally different view, okay? Um, and I also feel like, you know, the view, the view of what you see for your future has totally changed. All right. I feel like you want to find happiness. I feel like that you want to just, you know, be with people that have very good energy around them and that, um, you know, that see you for who you are, Leo. Okay. Because you are a person of strength and courage and, You've taken on a lot of challenges in your life and I do feel that, you know, one of the challenges right now is regarding your home and your stability, okay? So we do have beautiful new opportunities that are opening up for you, Leo, once you start making decisions, once you start, um, you know, being more clear about where you want to be or where you want to go. And I do feel there is going to be a, a beautiful opportunity that is coming in for you. That is going to take you out of a, a painful situation, okay? I feel like for a lot of you, Leos, you are intuitive, okay? And I feel like that you're holding back a lot to yourself. You're holding back. You're not speaking up. You're not saying what you really want to say because maybe if you do say what you, you do want to say, it's go, sorry, going to create tower moments in your life but leo how do you know if the tower moment isn't going to be a good change okay we'll have a look in the next card for you well the tower moment will bring you an emotional connection okay i do feel like that if you do you know say what you really want to say that it can change everything and it will give you a passionate new beginning it will open doors for you it'll give you a home it'll give you stability you know um for some of you leos um you are dealing with either another fire sign like you an earth sign or a water sign but this passionate new beginning is a beautiful new emotional connection but you just you know you're worried you, you overthink these things leo but this is a soulmate twin flame connection it really is a soulmate twin flame connection but you know that with the tower moment that you have to turn your back on something now, who are you turning your back on, um, Leo? Are you turning your back on a soulmate twin flame connection? Or are you turning your back on, you know, um, the home, the stability? You're coming into your own reading as somebody who wants to take charge of their life, You're somebody who wants to end a cycle and, and start a new one. You're making choices now, okay? You have been mentally tied and trapped to a situation for a long time. You have a lover's connection here that you want to make an offer to, but I do feel that uh, where you were stagnant before, you now want to rush in and you want to um, speak to this person, okay? Um, 
Yeah, you have this beautiful connection with the Two of Cups. And you want to release a heavy burden that's been put on, on you, okay? But I do feel that you are being stopped. I feel like you're being stopped from making this offer. You're being watched also, Leo. You've got eyes on you, okay? So I do feel that you will eventually turn your back on what no longer serves you, Leo. You're waiting for your ships to come in so you can move forward. There's a lot of head over heart decisions, a lot of secrets here. But I do feel that a message is coming in that's going to force you to make contact or a conversation with somebody. And I do feel that, you know, you are willing to put in the hard work and effort with somebody. You are willing to, to you want to offer this cup of love, you, but you want this person to see you for who you are. Okay, I think this person only views you in, in one light, but you want them to see the other side of you. And I do feel that that, that, that is a victory. It, it is a good idea for, you know, to do that, what you are doing, okay? Because I do feel that, you know, um, you don't want to lose this person. You don't want to lose this connection. So you feel like you need to speak up because you feel that this person, um, you know, is wounded and you are wounded too okay this person really loves you uh leo they think about you all the time you know they they would love to 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 be with you but there's always these blockages that are in your way um you know and this person just can't seem to get through they can't get through to you um you know you actually do have a, a journey with this person that is divinely guided. It, the, your journey is divinely guided with this person, okay? But I do feel that you are worried about home, your money, your stability. Uh, you want to choose your battles wisely here, you know, especially if you're dealing with an air sign because you're feeling left out in the cold here. You know, somebody's being very sneaky around you, Leo, okay? And maybe you need to be careful about your movements. But I do see you taking what you can carry and leaving this situation, okay? It's something you've been at a crossroad for a long time. You just want to move forward. There is going to be some very fast communication in the next, you know, week or so. And it is regarding healing a situation or healing yourself, okay? But... You also want to be happy, Leo. There's there's a sense of wanting to find yourself. You've been lost for a long time. But this conversation that you're having, the healing of a, of a connection to bring some sort of happiness will help you to move on to calmer waters. I feel like if you're connected to somebody right now that, you know, that is a very committed relationship, um, I think you, you are planning, you know, you are planning, you're, you're making plans and your plans, you know, sometimes don't include people, okay? But it, it's it's sort of like, it, it's a hard decision. I feel like it's a very hard decision, but I feel like the situation has become toxic, okay? You've been patient throughout this, Leo. You've been trying to sort of like, you know... I mean, you took a leap of faith in, in this connection, Leo, but, you know, there were some things that were hidden from you in this connection. But I think you're getting a lot of truth and clarity about some toxic behaviour that's going on around you. Okay, and that toxic behaviour that's going on around you is leading you to toxic behaviour. Okay, so you want to be more of this stable person you want to be somebody who's in control of you know the things that that are in their life but I feel like somebody else is in control of your life and you're feeling that you are being controlled okay so I do feel that okay so what I'm feeling is that um you're going to walk away you are going to walk away from all this okay um, it's taken you some time and, you know, this is the time where you're sort of like feeling, you know, why is everything being so stagnant, okay? Um, you may have gotten some advice in the past that you didn't listen to, but now you're starting to realise that I should have taken that advice. I would have been better off. I would have been more expanding myself by now and, you know, but um, 
like I said, the period of stagnation is for you to have the time to uh, focus on you and your happiness and which direction it's going to go. And I do feel that anybody from the past that comes back now is really just here to say, hi, how are you? They're not here to have any strong connection to you whatsoever. Um, but there is somebody that does love you very much here, um, Leo, and uh, I feel like there's, there's blockages between you and this person. Um, but I do things feel that things are going to be illuminated to you, that that something will be revealed to you. And when it is, it, it is going to, you know, it's going to put your plans into actions because you're going to start seeing some truth and clarity here. So I do see you will be focused on, on growth, success, expansion, giving an equal give and take instead of, you know, giving breadcrumbs, okay? But the doors are going to open up for you. But the, the reason why there's a stagnation right now is for you to put the focus back on you and the direction that you want to go. Okay. Once you make a decision, once you're able to move forward with that dec decision, all the doors will start opening for you. Okay. You will have great love in your life. You will have success in your finances. Okay. You will have growth, expansion, the doors will open up because you've ended an 11 year, year cycle. You have ended that cycle of 11 years of feeling lonely, feeling you want to be with somebody, grasping onto people for, for all different sorts of reasons. But now the focus is on you, Leo. So you will be walking away, okay? It is going to be a heartache. In, you know, walking away, somebody is going to get emotionally affected, okay, but walking away brings you happiness, it brings you success, it brings you the ten of cups, it brings you financial abundance, okay, and I do feel that things will balance out for you, Leo, you will be back in control of your own life, okay, so yes, there's a lot of attention that is coming your way, but that, that, that attention doesn't come in as strongly as when you walk away from, you know, things and places that no longer serve you. And like I said, the view from your window is about to change now. So I feel like there's a new address, there's a new beginning, there's a new love that is coming into your life. And I do feel that there, there is a lot of truth and clarity that is going to be spoken. And there is help available to you if you want to speak up. But you're about to take a leap of faith. You are about to take a leap of faith, okay? And I do feel that once you do that, the doors are going to open up for you. You've got the sun card, the ten of cups, the ten of pentacles, and, and justice in your favour, okay? Um, so stay strong. Get creative. Think about where you want to be, Leo, and where you want to go in the future. And I, I believe that, that whoever you end up with, um, you know, the choice that you make, the person that you make, you, you, you're you going to be successful and you're going to be balanced. And I do feel this very, very strong um, love connection that is going to be there and that, that is not going to change, okay? If you're going to spend uh, any time with this person, it will be at least for the next 10, 15 to 20 years and then and then it, uh, I don't want to use the word it's over, but there, there's this beautiful connection that lasts for the next 10, 15, 20 years, okay, with the sun card, ten of cups and ten of pentacles, okay. It's just amazing, but you're the one, only one that's stopping your own path, Leo. So uh, forget the fear, um, stop focusing on the lack because you're building and you're building up to some sort of successful venture, okay. All right, Leo, I wish you all the best and um, take care for the future. Bye for now.